you raise this value, the facing intention value. There are a lot of powerful tools within these uh, shader windows. Here I am searching for the directional light inside of the world outliner. And then down in the details panel, I am lowering the directional light intensity to give the scene a cooler vibe. It was uh, really warm before and now it's a little cooler. I feel like that goes better with the LEDs and the kind of uh, feel I'm going for. give it a good save. It's always useful to save. There is an auto save feature, but I feel that it's nice whenever making a big change to a scene that we perform a manual save. Here we are back inside of the asset window. This window is once again really good for finding your material sets that are already applied, making sure that you have the automotive materials or the unreal materials applied to each different material set. It is easy to uh, forget, and so it's helpful to go through this and just double check you may have every asset applied with a unreal material. Um, especially in automotive models like this, they have a lot of different parts and material groupings, it's always good to go in and double check. Here we are in the car paint material again. Wait, let's go back. Metal. We're looking for a chrome right now. Nice kind of chrome. There we go for the headlights. This may take a few moments depending on the size of your file and the size of your scene or the quality of your computer. And here we go. We got that nice kind of chrome inside of there. It's, you know, it has the light bouncing around pretty good. Back inside of Maya here, going in. And I find it useful to have Maya open and go in and choose our materials. And we can check the name of our materials inside of Maya right here in the, on the side. And then go back inside of Unreal and search for that exact name. If you have two screens, you can have one on, you have Maya on one screen and Unreal on the other. And you can look at it simultaneously. I find that to be very helpful workflow. But for the purpose of this video, I'm keeping everything on the same screen for recording purposes. And I think the car paint looks really nice inside of this environment. Here I am applying the glass. For the glass, for this video, I'm using the black car paint material. Normally I would use a clear glass material, but for this video, we will not be materializing the interior. It's just going to be a few Maya shaders in there. So I'm going for a full tint look on all of the glass materials. Next, we will add plastic black placeholder to the license plate material. Here we are inside of the material editor again, and we're editing the car paint shader. This um, model of Mercedes comes in an emerald green paint. So here I am replicating that instead of Unreal, going through and changing the color. As you can see, it changes in real time, which is amazing, in my opinion. I think it looks very nice with all the shadows, everything with everything calculated in. It's very sharp. I'm just raising the saturation and darkening the paint. Moving around between blue and green to get this kind of nice car paint here. And the reflections look good. I'm really happy with the lighting here. We're going to grab the HDRI in the world outliner and lower the intensity. 
it's a bit low. That's better. Yeah, that looks nice. 